Hey guys, this video is going to show you the new Android app of the OnLive client or the new player they have. Not only can you uh, view people from the arena like spectate games, you can actually play your games on your tablet now from this new client. So it was just released a few days ago and I've uh, had the time to use it and I'm just going to show you guys around the app. So here you got your traditional, everything's it's the exact same thing. You get the same exact experience as what you would get on the micro console or, or playing on the PC, except it is touch enabled. So let's start with Arena, where you can spectate different games. So instead of going just up and down, you have the ability to pan by dragging the Arena, like so. So you can see all these people playing their games right now. Let's watch him. Saint Rith Saints Rogue Third, awesome game. I have it. It's like the most played game I have so far. Uh, I spent the most hours on it. I think 25 hours so far. Uh, really cool. <laughs> Quality is pretty good. Um, yeah, no lag so far. I have a pretty good connection at home, so. Yeah, I haven't experienced any jittering. Uh, so let's view another. You, let's rate him. He's doing a pretty good, pretty good job at avoiding these cops here. Um, rate and add a friend. Play now. Uh, you can view his profile. Let's go back. View another game. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at some home front. Alright, let's view his profile and see what... Wow, he spent 145 hours uh, on live. Um, his brag clips, you can view his brag clips, friends, stuff like that. Let's go back. So this is the arena. Very nice. I love how you can pan. And let's view our profile, or my profile. So I spent 84 hours playing games on, on the online service. Uh, you can see all my friends there, see all the games I have. I have Homefront, Osmos, Lego Batman, which you get for free for installing the Android app. So if you want Lego Batman, install it on your tablet. Uh, Saints Row, Borderlands, and more. You can see the brag clips I've recorded so far. Most of them is from Saints Row. Just little glitches like this. And the back. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and yes. The marketplace where you can view all featured games and see their prices. I don't know if you can purchase something yet. I haven't tried. Oh, we already have Borderlands. Let me pick a game. Uh, like Warhammer. You can, yeah, just play the trial, get game. Oh, so apparently you can uh, purchase apps from this. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. So that's the marketplace. Uh, the showcase is just like the latest news. Here's a uh, showcase about the new tablet app. Uh, view featured games, deals, all from the showcase. And last play takes you back to your latest game that you've played, and Brad Clips allows you to view Brad Clips from everyone else. Let's view a random one here. Wow, people spend so much time drawing stupid stuff on Duke Nukem. <laughs> but yeah, that is Pride Clips. And friends, view all your friends. 
Uh, your messages are down here. You can view your conversations, type. The only thing I don't like that it forces you to type the messages from this stupid non QWERTY key layout here meant for controllers. I want to be able to use the Android uh, keyboard to type in messages. That's the only bad thing I've found about this client. I'm sure it'll be updated though, so. Um, what else? I've showed my games, show that. Profile, and. Yeah, here's uh, the dashboard settings about same experience as the micro console and everything else. And let's play a game. And history, you can see by the icons there, you can see which ones are touch enabled that allows you to have on screen touch controls. So, Osmos, I have Osmos, Lego Batman, and I think that's it. That's, that's the only games that I own that are touch enabled so far. Um, I hope they release new, new touch enabled for the current games on the library. Um, I think they should focus more on that instead of just like releasing the like, new controller, the new universe controller. They should focus on uh, enabling more touch enabled games. So let's play Lego Batman. See there the information on uh, all the touch controls. You can toggle that by pressing the I, um, and then you can toggle the touch controls themselves by clicking that button over there. Let's see. You can skip this. Let's load a game. Uh, that's good. Yes. So loading times are around the same as what you would expect on the micro console and PC. Um, and graphics and quality wise, I would say it's not as good as the micro console, but it's just a tad more blurrier because this is, you're playing on a lower resolution device, so you can expect that. So let's jump into a mission. Controls are pretty responsive, as long as you have a tablet that has responsive, a responsive touch screen, um, the game controls will be pretty good. 
So you got your joysticks, left joystick, right joystick up here, your gamepad buttons, and your right trigger button right there. Runs pretty fast. As long as you have a good connection, like I do. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try our boomerang. Oh, I guess not. You can switch characters, this Y. You're getting her here. Nice. So there guys, I'm gonna stop it here. Um, the online client's really nice, very fun. I just hope that there's more uh, touch support for more games on their library and the fact that it uses uh, the keyboard uh, from the client instead of the, the Android keyboard. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and go get the client. Get Lego Batman for free and yeah, have fun.